this is a little odd. I have been um, going through things and my counselor wants me to journal. People keep telling me the importance of journaling. And I have discovered, I think I talk better than I write. I have no clue what's important. Um, I thought a vlog, for lack of a better phrase, might not be a bad idea. Don't know if I'm going to even post it where anybody could see it, but I figured may as well give it a shot. So this is my very first entry where I will give you a very small idea of who I am. Um, and then I'll decide where to go from there. When I have thought of this and I've thought of this, gosh, I don't even know how many times over the past few weeks, I had this whole idea planned out. Um, but in reality, I'm freaking clueless. So I will start off by just saying, hi, I'm Linda. I teach, I fidget, and I'm about to brush my ponytail because I just saw that and then wanted to do that. Um, I have often talked about trying to put stuff down about my world question mark. Um, like I said, I teach, but I also tutor. And I used to say that I was going to write everything down and I was going to call it. <clears throat> I was going to call it the throwaway child because that's kind of what I identify myself as is the throwaway child. Because, well, if I do this long enough, you'll realize I really was the one that's just tossed. Um, however, when I was tutoring, there was this one student, absolutely adorable. And she wanted me to write everything down because of the bizarre stories that would come out of my mouth while tutoring. And she wanted me to title it uh, Life with Linda. <clears throat> so whenever I post this, wherever I post it, it's going to be both of those names. It's going to be the throwaway child and then Life with Linda. Um, or it might be Life with Linda, the throwaway child. That actually sounds a little bit better. So for my first real quick little intro, um, I talk a lot, but then I also don't talk a lot. So like, if you get me started talking, I will talk and I will talk and I will talk and I will talk. I use way too many words, but other times I am completely and utterly silent because I don't want to talk. I prefer to be quiet. Um, I just made a video for my class right now. And that's why at the moment I figured I got some time. I'll go ahead and do this real quick, knock it out because I tend to do just not crap out. Um, I am now 50 years old. I turned 50 a little over a month ago. Um, I am on the autism spectrum. I have PTSD. I have anxiety issues. Uh, most medications don't work on me. <clears throat> I've tried so many anti-anxiety meds and none of them seem to work, which really sucks. Most pain relievers don't really work. Most muscle relaxers don't really work. Most things just straight up don't work. Um, I have two kids. One of them is 25, about to turn 26 in June, and the other one is 21, turns 22 in August. Um, I'll probably chat about them at some point too. I have an ex-husband and I currently have a wife. When my youngest was 14, that's when we started talking about different terms of things like asexual, bisexual, pansexual, blah, blah, blah. I had been raised where I knew gay and straight. Then I learned that there was bisexual. Then because of these kinds of conversations, that's when I learned about pansexual and I decided, hey, that one makes the most sense. And so that's what I figured I'd go ahead and count as because um, for me, it really is the person. It's this in here, not necessarily what's on the outside. In school, in college, I actually once wrote a philosophy paper about beauty. Um, I wish I could remember the name of it. I'm going to have to look it up. But it was basically about how I saw the inner beauty instead of the outer beauty. And there are plenty of people out there that I have had other people say were so pretty and I thought they were so ugly. And vice versa. I've had people that I thought were some of the most beautiful people I've ever met. And other people looked at me like I was crazy for thinking they were attractive. But that's when I learned that I wasn't necessarily seeing this, I was seeing this. And I kind of think that's okay. I think that might be a slightly better world if people would quit looking on the outside. Um, I also cleared an entire table at college 
when I made a comment about what it would be like if nobody had skin, everyone was just psh, <clears throat> just down to the muscle layer. Um, and I think people were going with me on this conversation because it seemed philosophical, but my other major was biology. And then I went into the kinds of coverings they would need on the chairs because of the body fluids and the muscles and blood sticking everywhere. And um, people got up and left. Which brings me to the school thing. Yes, and I know I bounce around everywhere. Probably ADHD too, and I'm also dyslexic. And I think dysgraphic, but I have a whole slew of things. Basically, my brain never stops, but that's okay. Um, I'm a high school dropout. I finished ninth grade and then I left. I have worked a whole bunch of different freak, <clears throat> whole bunch of different freaking jobs. I have asthma. Huh, go figure. Asthma during a pandemic about a respiratory illness. Guess how many times I'm stared at just for trying to breathe. Pretty sucky. Yes, I've gotten both vaccines, just so you know. Pfizer. Woo! Actually, I don't care if it was Pfizer or Moderna. I just happened to get Pfizer because that's what I was available. That's what I was able to get. Um, if you want to know my opinion about vaccines, heck yeah, I'll totally teach you that because I'm a biology teacher and that's literally what I cover. Anyway, dropped out of school after the ninth grade. <clears throat> I just didn't fit in, didn't like it, couldn't deal with the busy work. Um, thought I was a complete and utter idiot and that I was stupid because my sister is so friggin' smart. When I tell you my sister is smart, I'm telling you she finished high school at the age of 17. She did college in three years. She started Duke Law School at the age of 20. So before she was even legal drinking age, she was going to friggin' Duke Law School. Meanwhile, I dropped out after the ninth grade and I was a waitress. Um, also managed a shoe store, was a cocktail waitress at a strip club. I've been an uh, extruder operator and a diesel mechanic. <clears throat> and I mean, a whole bunch of stuff in between, but I was a diesel mechanic when I quit and went to college. At the age of 17, after being a high school dropout, I was reading um, Dostoevsky as Russian literature. I love reading. And so I think clearly I've always wanted to learn. I love to learn. My brain is always on. And I think school just tried so hard to do this to my brain and my brain just wasn't having it. And um, so it's like I opened up the gates and just let everything fall in. Um, Let's see, got married, had kids, got divorced, quit my job to go to college. There you go. Now we're all the way up to my 30s. Ha <laughs> ha! All that other stuff's probably pretty darn interesting and I should probably fill you in, but this is just a quick intro, so I'm not really going to worry about that right now. Um, went to college, thought I was stupid. All I had was a GED. Um, started with math 097 and 099, which is learning support math, because when I took the entrance exam, it got to the math part. And I still remember the first question is, what is an integer? And I had no clue. And I just started randomly clicking buttons. Um, yeah, don't do that when you're taking a test. Don't just randomly click buttons. But I did. So I started in 097, which was like the best thing on the planet because I had one of the best math teachers and I now actually really, really, really understand math. Um, every class I took, I wanted to learn more. So fast forward, I had two bachelor's degrees. Um, I got a bachelor of science in biology, bachelor of arts in philosophy and religious studies. And I graduated with honors. Um, started master's programs, blah, 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 still trying to continue with different educations. Um, I already said I'm a science teacher. I teach biology and environmental science at college. I teach at three different colleges, technically at three different colleges. And I say it that way because one of them, I've taught three classes and I'm still waiting to see if they're giving me any more. Um, environmental science is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ones to teach. Love it. I am very passionate about that. I got to do the Al Gore climate reality training, leadership training. Yay! I was so excited. Um, let's see. I have cats. I love cats. Um, again, fidgety, as you can very well see. Um, I'm sure there's other crap I should throw out there, but like literally I didn't plan to start this. I just figured, hey, I just made this other video for my students and I'm waiting for it to process. I've got an empty room at the moment, so I don't have to try to explain what I'm doing to anybody. Um, I haven't even told my wife I'm planning on doing this kind of thing or my kids. I don't know what all I'm gonna say. 
it would be helpful if I put it somewhere because like I said, I never know what's actually important to talk about. And so somebody asking me something would be helpful. Um, I just don't know because there are disgusting people out there. Not trying to be mean or rude, but there are people out there who are gonna ask you things just to be mean. Um, there are people out there who are going to honestly be like, whoa, really? So I gave you the quick highlight just to show you that, yeah, my life might be a little odd. Um, the main one being that I'm a high school dropout who has, who's now massively educated and is a teacher. That is normally one that gets most people's attention. But then when I'm teaching and I'm using all of my, um, my life stories to explain stuff, that's normally when I have students go, dude, you need to write this down. But the issue is it's just my life. I don't know. I don't know what really makes it um, phenomenal, interesting, different, anything like that. I do know that daily I have these thoughts and these questions and these ponderings that I thought might be fun to actually just take a moment and plop them out. Um, yeah, I guess that's good enough for a start, right? If I post this um, and if you find it, because I can post it and no one ever finds it, you know, that's really not hard. But if I post this and someone finds it and I have contact info and you have questions, feel free to send them to me and then I will I'll answer them. Or I will say somebody asked me this and that was a jerk thing to do because yeah, I'll, I'll freaking call people out on it. I don't care. Um, I swear to God, I thought there was something else I was going to say in this first one. No, no idea. Because again, I didn't really prepare. Oh, but you can see Petey and Una back there in the background. You can't see the teeny tiny little itty bitty Harmony. Um, she's, she's hidden. Harmony is really soft and I, um, I pet her to help keep me from being like, <sighs> sometimes. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So no funny Snapchat filters. I thought about doing that just so I could be like, <sighs> and have fun ears. I didn't do that. I get distracted and I hate looking at myself. So I keep looking again at Petey, at Una, and I keep looking at the Mickey Mouse backpack next to me. Um, but uh, yeah. So if I post this, if you find it, if you have questions, ask away. Otherwise, I am just going to, whenever I feel like it, randomly knock one of these suckers out, talk about something that's pondering in my head at the time. So that's it. Peace.